I'm Steve Mullins from Norton, Virginia, and uh, we're going to look at some double stick techniques, some drills that you can do first of all uh, in the air to learn some of the principles. We'll do everything from what's sometimes called a neutral stance, both feet in front of you without one, you're not in a left lead, you're not in a right lead, some people call it a parallel stance, some people call it a ready stance, just depends on the system or the style. But here we'll get the basics. Uh, starting in this stance. And I think it's good to start with this one instead of a left lead or a right lead. Now with uh, Sinawali, which is a Tagalog word that basically means weaving or a weave pattern uh, in uh, the Filipino martial arts in Kali, Eskrima, Silad, the two sticks is, is often called double baston because that's a, a, a bastardized version of, of a Spanish phrase meaning two sticks. Baston is, is a stick. So uh, we'll refer to it normally as, as Sinawali patterns. The first is an is a upper chamber position where both sticks are up high like this. And the very simple first movement you want to get is a right left or a left right kind of motion where your body is moving along with the strike. But it's called a wetik because it hits and it comes back as opposed to lob tick, which means to hit and come through. This is a wetik. Whenever I hit and come back. Normally you first learn this as a head shot. Kabang, kabang, kabang. But these shots could easily be to the ribs or the hand or the wrist. These could be, if I went a little lower, to the knee. So the level, the elevation of the strike really doesn't matter. You start it learning it to the head. And this follows a diagonal pattern, just like the number one strike in solo baston, or single stick work. Okay, now notice my feet. As I turn from right to left, my body weight goes to my left foot. As I go from left to right, the opposite happens. Bang, kabang, kabang. Notice too, when I go to the left, my left, I come up on the ball of the right foot. When I go to the right, I come up on the ball of the left foot. So we would tick each one of these strikes. I hit and come back, hit and come back, hit and come back. Now in terms of empty handed motions, this could be very easily that sort of chopping motion, empty handed. Or it could be a hammer fist. And you see this a lot in Panatukan in uh, Filipino boxing. This could also be an overhand shot, or jabs, or crosses. And especially if you changed, if you were in a left lead and used this sort of motion, left, right, left, that's basically the same as going jab, cross, hook. Or if you were to start with the rear one, right, left, right, and you see this uh, uh, quite a bit in Panatukan, leading off with the rear hand, right cross, left hook, right cross. But it also works the other way. If I were in a, in a right lead, right, left, right, becomes right, left, right, or right, left, right. Or if I start with the rear hand, left, right, left, that's the same as cross, hook, cross. So there are uh, many empty handed applications to this. After the single hit and come back, the wetik, you can also do a little X pattern. This is the second one. So if I were doing single stick, this would be a one, flip it over, two, one, two. It's the X pattern going downward. It's part of the downward figure eight pattern. We're just doing it once, so you come here, come back up high chamber. Here, come back high chamber. Now notice my feet and my hips again. Each time I do this, I want to sway with the body, come up on the ball of the foot, the same side. If I'm hitting with this right stick, my body weight's gonna go from the right hand side to the left hand side and I will sway this way to my left, your right, and come up on the ball of this right foot as I come down. 
as I strike with the backhanded strike, the number two strike, I will immediately start shifting my weight to throw this shot. Same thing. My backhand strike helps me transition to the other side. Okay, so that's a, a one and a two pattern, both on the right hand side and the left hand side. And you'll see this in uh, Panatukan and empty handed Filipino boxing, a one and a two like that, using a hammer fist sort of motion. It could also be a slap and a backhand. It could be a palm and a backhanded chop. You know, any anytime you're using this sort of motion, you're incorporating the one and the two. Many times you'll see one, two, one, two, three. You'll see that cross hook cross combo after that. Same thing on the left side. Same sort of motion. Much of which learned from using the stick. Now we're still in a high chamber position. The third one I want to go over is where you completely go through. This is a lob tick. You hit the head, but your stick comes through. It wraps around your hip. And then you take that same part of that diagonal and strike backhand. Down, wrap, and up. So it goes push, 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 like that. I notice my feet and my hips. For any of these stick motions to be effective, there has to be some body weight behind it. Just like in boxing, when you're punching, you don't just punch with your arm, you punch with your whole body. Now, if I were in a left lead, this would look like this. Downward strike, upward strike or a right lead. Okay, and now uh, fourth, a, a variation on this theme is where you strike both at the same time from what's called a side chambered position in Cinderella. The bottom stick, the one underneath your arm, sort of makes the motion first. One, two, three, four. We're back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, notice the feet and the hips. Swaying with each motion to develop power. Any of these shots where you lob tick, where you hit and come through, if you're merely practicing shadow boxing with sticks, you should hear that whoosh sound. Whoosh, whoosh, like that. 